Assalamu alaikum. I hope all of you are doing fine and a very warm welcome to the new academic session. This is our first lesson and in this lesson we are going to discuss broken hundred squares. That is on learner book page number 4. You can see some sections that have been made on that page. Now these sections are taken from the hundred square chart. This is the 100 square chart, the numbers counting from 1 to 100 and we are going to discuss the patterns in it today. Now let's discuss this 100 square chart. Before starting we are going to identify some patterns in it and we are going to learn the rules that is used in this particular 100 square chart. Now let's see, there are total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. There are 9 rows. Now what are rows? If I move from 1 to 10, that is from left to right, that is known as a row. And if I am moving from top to bottom, this is known as a column. Now when we move in a row, we are moving from left to right. So we are going to add 1. Because 1 plus 1 gives me 2. 2 plus 1 gives me 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, and so on. And if I move from right to left, that will be opposite. So instead of adding, I am going to subtract 1. That is 10 minus 1, that is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5 and so on. We, dis we have discussed the pattern that is being made in the rows. Now let's discuss how numbers change when we move up and down a column. Starting from this, 1 plus 10, as I have already mentioned here, that if I'm moving down, I'm going to add 10. 1 10 is being added in the number. 1 plus 10 is 11 or for more easy approach you can easily see 10 plus 10 gives you 20 20 plus 10 is 30 30 plus 10 is 40 40 plus 10 50 and so on now the opposite of that is if I'm going to move from top from bottom to top from bottom to top I'm going to subtract or minus 1 100 minus 10 90 90 minus 10 80 80 minus 10 is 70 and so on now let's take some examples from the 100 squares chart and how we are going to solve it and what sort of questions can come now these are some broken sections that are being taken from the 100 square chart and we are going to fill in the missing numbers First of all, I'm going to revise the rules again. If I'm moving from left to right, we are going to add 1. If I'm moving from right to left, I am going to subtract 1. And if I'm moving from top to bottom, I'm going to add 10. And if I'm moving from bottom to top, I'm going to minus 10. So starting from the first section, I have 55. Now I'm moving from left to right to so 55 plus 1 gives me 56 so that means our first row is complete now let's look at this one 66 67 68 and what will come here the number previous number is 66 minus 1 is 65 now let's have a look in the column the very important thing is that you have to look 55, 65, tens and unit. The unit numbers present in it are same, that is 5 and 5, only the tens are being changed. I have added 110 in 55, that is giving me now 65. Now again I am going to add 110 and 65 that will give me 75 and now 75 
here will come 76 now 85 as you can see the row is not complete so I'm going to add one here 85 86 87 and 88 our first broken section or the block is complete filling the numbers in a row is easy because that is simple for counting uh, while moving in a column that is a little bit difficult and we are going to solve that now again look here I have 7 then 17 what number will come here I have 17 now unit numbers remain the same in the column and the next number changes that means if I have 10 I'm going to add 110 again that is going to give me 20 or I can say it if I had 17 I added 10 in it that gave me 27 so here it is 27 with the passage of time you will be able to learn but for time being we are going to use addition here now again the unit numbers remain the same I have two tens here and I'm going to increase two tens by one ten that will give me three tens so I have already the number on the unit place I'm going to write three here that is three tens now look here this time I'm going to move in the reverse process that is I'm going to use minus 10 here the rule of minus 10 here now I have 28 this is 28 and if I'm moving up moving up I'm going to minus 10 so 8 will come here 2 minus 1 will give me 18 okay we got 18 here now again 18 minus 10 will give me 8 so I have 8 here 7 8 9 10 now this is 17 18 19 or simply 20 now let's fill this one as you can see this is a simple one 10 20 30 now again 9 19 that means 9 will come on the unit place and my 10th digit will increase if I have 110 here and I add 1 10 again that is going to give me 20 so I will have here 29 or I can say 19 plus 10 gave me 29 now I have 29 I'm going to add 10 again that is equal to 39 so this block is complete now in those previous blocks we had more than two numbers and that was easy to solve but now as you can see in this block I just have two numbers and I am going to complete all the missing numbers here now if it this is a row the number present here is 58 the next number will be 59 and that is 60 what will be the previous number mine if I do minus 1 that will give me 57 now this is 60 this is 80 that means this column is of tens 60 that means next 10 is 70 and the previous 10 or you can say 60 minus 10 is equal to 50 so 50 will come here now we are going to complete the rest as I mentioned before again I have to fill this column starting with this first column I had the number 57 I'm gonna add 10 in it so tens and units 7 here and this is 67 so 67 comes here again I'm gonna add 10 and 67 that gives you 77 now if I have to move up I am going to minus 10 so 57 minus 10 is going to give you 47 so this is 47 my first column is complete and using this number I can complete my row also this is 48 
49 and this is 50. Now again I am going to add 58 plus 10 because I am moving down the column now. 58 I am going to solve this one so 68 is the answer here. Now I am going to add 10 again in 68 it will give me 78. Now this is easy we can simply complete it 67, 68 and this is 69, 77, 78 and this is 79. Our block is complete now. Now here I just have one number. That is not scary, that is easy to solve. Let's solve it. 33, the next number is 34, this is 35. The previous number is will be 32. Now these unit numbers 5, 4, 3 and 2 they are telling me that in this column if I am moving down all the unit numbers will remain the same like this fine and I am going to increase my tens number I had three tens so I am going to add one ten three ten plus one ten is four ten four ten plus one ten is five tens five tens plus one ten is six tens you can use the either way you can use you can do simple addition or you can use this method now again four will remain the same in the column this is three tens this is four this is five and this is six so now this is easy to solve 45 44 now this is backward counting 43 and this is 42 55 54 53 50 2 65 64 63 and 62 now you will be given worksheets and some sections are being made similar to these one and you are going to solve those on your notebooks i hope you understand this video very well good luck and allah hafiz